being kept under diligent supervision. Sarah is watching with real interest. The saga of the 455 continues. Nope, got the oil pan off. We'll see that in a second. Took off the front main bearing just to get an idea because this is the last one to get any sort of lube in the engine. And looks pretty decent. I'll call upon some of the experts to give a more decent opinion of actually what's going on. Okay, let's get under here and take a peek. I didn't want to flip it over yet, so I just want everything to drain out of this thing first before uh, we get before we flip it over so that the oil is dripping all over the garage. I'm trying to keep things as orderly as possible in here, so I'm working in a small garage. But there is the front main. Looks to be in very very good condition. I don't see any evidence of bluing or discoloration on any of the bearing caps or anything like that, either on the connecting rods or on the main, so hopefully this will be the same story throughout once we get the engine flipped over, get the car out of the garage and flip the engine over and do some cleaning, put a plastic bag underneath everything and just let it all drip out overnight and stuff. That's what we have so far. 455 volts. There was nothing creepy crawly looking in the pan or anything like that. Just normal, no, no signs of moisture or rust or anything there, so it looks like whatever moisture concerns and that must manage to stay up to the top only, so that's a pretty good sign. A little bit shaky because I've been really wrestling them with this crazy thing, but there we go. So far so good. The saga continues. Sarah. There we go. Till next time, the adventures go on and on.